We love the Audubon birds for many, many reasons. They're fascinating and beautiful, and Audubon, during the 1820s and 30s, was the bird world's camera, carefully observing and capturing every detail, accurately and obsessively, in actual life size. He wrote, I never for a day gave up listening to the songs of our birds, or watching their peculiar habits, or delineating them in the best way I could. He crossed the Atlantic six times in ten years to oversee the engraving and hand coloring of 200 sets of his extraordinary images, images that to this day are the definitive and best loved pictures of the birds of America, including some that are now extinct. Last year, we developed a way to perfectly recreate these beautiful images in all their obsessive and perfect detail. We obsessed over each one until it was indistinguishable from the original. You know, one of the things that makes your jaw drop when you walk into a gallery and see an Audubon is how incredibly lifelike the birds are. Part of this is the artist's ability to draw from nature and create a snapshot-like moment from life. The other part of it is the incredibly sharp detail that's as fine as the eye can see, as fine as his hand could draw, and as fine and sharp as Havel could engrave a copper plate. So our particular obsession has been to find the way to use the newest, most advanced scanning and printing technologies to perfectly recreate every line and every brushstroke, as fine as the human eye can see. It's amazing to, in effect, walk right up to the bird and see every filament of every feather, to see the definition of every scale on the leg, to get the incredibly sharp and bright bird's eye views. I'm thrilled we finally got it just right, and I think you'll be thrilled and delighted every day to have one or a few of these extraordinary works in your home or your office. Our perfect recreations really are indistinguishable from the originals. A few months ago, I spent some time with two leading Audubon experts, the director and the chief archivist of the College of Charleston's library, the owner of one of the best preserved examples of the birds of America. They spent about five minutes staring at their original great blue heron, side by side with our perfect recreation of it. After about five minutes with his big old magnifying glass, the chief archivist looked at me and asked, now you are going to authenticate these as fakes, aren't you? Well, yes, we do. We stamp and number them by hand on the reverse side. We don't perfectly recreate these masterpieces to fool anybody. We do it to make it affordable to fully experience these wonderful pictures, now that the price of each original is well up into six figures. All of these ingenious and beautiful images have now been reproduced, perfectly recreated, and can be had at discoveryeditions.com. See them with your own eyes. Rediscover them for yourself.